Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can update your apps in Windows 11. It's actually quite straightforward once you know how, but the settings can sometimes be a little bit buried. So as I get into this and if it does work for you guys, make sure to smash that like button and let's jump right into the desktop here. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to go to the Microsoft Store. Now I have this on my taskbar down at the bottom here, so we can simply click it there or we can come to the search function and we can just go and type in store and it should come up as Microsoft Store like this. We'll give it a click, it will load up the Microsoft Store. Obviously, if this is the first time you've kind of gone into this, you may need to log in, but if you do log into Windows with your Microsoft account, it should already be logged in. Um, otherwise, you can sign in. I'm already signed in in this particular case. Once you are logged into your account, of course, you can see there are lots of different options on the left-hand side. You've got apps, gaming, entertainment, and AI hub. If you go a bit down lower, there is what's new downloads and library. We actually want to click on downloads not library believe it or not you'd think you would go to your library to find all your apps to update but actually you want to click on downloads click on downloads here and you can see in the top right hand corner we have the ability to check for updates so if we go ahead and click on the check for updates i don't think i'll have anything to update here but if we do it will come up and we'll be able to obviously go ahead and download each one and update your applications so let's give it a moment and see what it does okay so we are finding a few updates to do on the on the on the, on the computer here um so you can see that a few things haven't had any updates for a while so it's going through and it is updating them uh, so you course can do these uh, one by one you can update them all uh, etc so as you can see it's still going through it's still trying to figure out what needs to be updated uh, and it turns out there's quite a bit that on this machine that hasn't been updated uh, so again something really important to do this from time to time obviously make sure that all your apps are in fact up to date and that you don't come across any issues at all we're going to go ahead and uh, you know, click on update all and it is going to update all of these apps you can see them working one by one going through the process once they are done they are kind of removed off the list so once you kind of go through all of these and they all update you should have a clean slate so let's just pause here for a moment and i'll come back when all of these are updated and just like that you can now see all of your recent updates down here as well so guys hopefully you have found this useful if it works for you make sure to smash that like button consider subscribing hitting that subscribe button just down below so you don't miss any more hints and tips when it comes to everything microsoft